Hi friends, it's Carrie and welcome back to my channel. I am taking the time to go ahead and get this video up that I have been planning for several weeks, even months actually. So I know it's a little bit of a different angle. Um, I've moved my desk since the last time I did a video. So the, my normal mount that I use um, is in a different way now. So I have to figure out later how to mount it better. So I'm using my old tripod and I'm having to do a different angle. But I thought that that wouldn't really matter too much as long as you um, were able to see a video from me for those that you view that have stuck around my channel um, for, my, for my hiatus, you know, going through school and everything like that. So another thing to note is that you are seeing the true me. I didn't really put on any makeup. I didn't, I've kind of brushed my hair. Um, but, you know, those things are not as important, you know. So, I wanted to share these goodies that I have been wanting to share with you guys. Um, a lot of them I've started buying since September. And um, I've got quite a bit here. So, hopefully you like a longer video, especially since I haven't put up one probably in about five to six months. So, um, I'm going to, instead of kind of talk through everything in this angle, I thought I would come on camera, first say hi, and then do a little bit of a different angle so you could see all of the product that I've got. So I hope you guys are doing well. I know 2020 has not been the greatest of years, but we are getting through it. We're almost done, and hopefully 2021 will have a much better result <laughs> So for everybody. So I hope y'all are doing well. Literally, I hope you're doing well and not sick. And um, hope that you've been staying indoors if possible, um, staying away, away from crowds and such. So um, I'm still getting some crafty time too. So I'm glad that you guys are um, have come and to see my video for today. And let's go ahead and check out the things that I have purchased. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and preface this <laughs> um, by stating that, like I said, I mentioned that a lot of these things were starting in September, um, and hopefully you guys don't mind the longer video. Um, I've got, I've, I've kind of got them sectioned out in different companies and such, and um, and some of these, pro and, mo and I will not be linking to anything, so because I am currently not in a position to... Um, do I can like put them in the comments the actual name of the product but as far as actual links um, I am not doing that at the moment especially since I'm in school and how I have to do that I have to pay um, in order to get get them combined into links and such you know of that nature so if you're familiar with all that you know what I'm referring to so anyway this is just me being a crafter sharing the things that I wanted to uh, share with you that I've purchased and let's go ahead and dive into what I got now this month um what is my birthday was my birthday or is my birthday month um so um I did pick up some things for my birthday and I'm sorry if you can see reflection down here but like I said um the I've got my glass mat here and it reflects a lot so Anywho, so, um, I, and I, since I haven't done this in a while, I promise that I might be a little bit of um, talky, <laughs> so I apologize for that too, but um, hopefully y'all will overlook all of the little flaws and just enjoy the things that I am sharing with you today. So like I said, first off, uh, I did make a little order with Launch Fine. Since it is birthday month, I had a chance to pick up the little bundled set for uh, any time that you have a birthday. You have to be signed up uh, on their, I believe it's their with their newsletter or uh, an email, I believe. Uh, if you go to the website, it, it tells you exactly how to, to do to do this and to get this. So, um, but I think it's super cute. Uh, it's called Party Unicorn. It's got this little cute little unicorn and a little cupcake. And of course, it's got the little dies with it too. So I think that's pretty awesome. They always send um, a card anytime that you buy from Lawn Fawn. And of course, it says Happy Birthday. And then it says, um, have a magical day. So I thought that was super cute. Um, I will get to, let's see, well, maybe I've, I can get rabbit right here. Um, the two things that I purchased uh, from them was this 6x6 pad um, called Let It Shine. I thought this was really beautiful, especially with the um, foiling 
Uh, it's got little bits of uh, foiling on it. You can see that. And um, so I really love the colors in this. So um, I will also say I had every intention of creating Christmas cards, obviously, and to send them out. But with schools, um, with my semester ending on the 11th, um, just, you know, just a few days ago, I, um, I just, I didn't get a chance to really sit down and it's really, you know, I may make a couple just to, to give to, um, like current, you know, my local family and friends, that kind of thing. But, uh, for all my other crafty friends that I usually love to send out cards to, I will not be able to do that this year, which really makes me sad because I've really got some cute things here. <laughs> but, but anyway, you know, one year is not going to kill it kill everybody so um and i just have to be honest with myself so anywho this is the starry sky stencil and it's got these uh little, little stars and i just really thought this stencil was really beautiful and i know that i will get some uses out of this eventually <laughs> so i got that too and that's the little order that i made with lawn fawn um next up i have this die here from avery l um, it's a happy holidays die and I love how it's kind of all together and I love the, the thickness of this die um, but um, I just really I don't need more word dies I really really do like word dies but um, so I got that um, let's see next up let's do uh, tailored expressions tailored expressions was having a uh, let me bump you up sorry about that um, Tailored Expressions was having a really good sale during Black Friday, which was um, really close to my birthday. And so I basically got a birthday present for myself. Um, so I bought... <laughs> I bought um, this stamp set here. I love the Simple Strips line that they have. I've purchased pretty much... No, well, not everything, but I've got a pretty good chunk of their Simple Strips things. Um, and this is a crafty collab, and it, they collabed with Brutus Monroe on this. And it's got really great sentiments uh, for crafty friends. Uh, Hello, crafty friend. I craft so hard I sweat glitter. Joy is multiplied when it's shared. I use my good paper for you. You bling, you bling me joy. Send smiles and sparkle. Crafty and proud. Create your own ending. Um, so it's just got really great um, sentiments for all your crafty friends. So I thought that was a really great one to have and add to the collection. So I purchased it. And speaking of the simple strips, I went ahead and got some of these boxes, and because I've got several of these the simple strips um, sentiments and and dies and stuff, and I just love this little storage. And I've been putting mine in a little bowl. In fact, it's in a little bowl that my friend Christy had created for me. Um, it's kind of got other things in it too, but um, it's this bowl here. And I've been putting my strips in that, which, you know, is totally fine. But especially if you've got different ones, which I do, this is a really good thing to have because it's got, it sections them out um, into the different um, sets. And I bought the stickers, so um, it's got Simple Strips Friendship on here, so I can store them that way. And I know exactly which ones. Um, this is the one. i got to get one more box. One more box? Yeah, one more box um, for I believe it's this stamp set here. So, um, so I thought this was this is a really good idea, and it's a great way to store. And I got three of those. All this I picked up from Tailored Expressions, um, two sets of the um, blender brushes. These are the uh, kind of like pastel colors, and I've got a set for my dye inks and a set for my oxide inks. So I went ahead, and they were having a fantastic sale on these brushes. So I went ahead and picked up two of these um, to put with my collection. Now, what I have to do is get me a couple more holders um, to put these in. So that's why I haven't opened them yet. But um, so I'm happy to have those. I just love these brushes, and so I got those. And that was Parallel Expressions order was my biggest order uh, during Black Friday because of the sale and it was my birthday so I treated myself. Um, next up I've got some things from My Favorite Things and um, first up is this uh, this is from the latest release um, this is called 
missing you every single day and I just love these little critters and I have come to the conclusion that I do love critter stamps but um, I am not even though I've got things to color with I'm not I my my niche my thing is not to color um, it actually stresses me out more than it gives me joy and that's not the way it should be but things like this especially since they're so small you know that's not that's not a big deal I can handle these things but it's when it's bigger images um, that kind of thing and right now uh, you know as you guys know I don't have the time and so you know maybe later on you know after I get out of school that will be different but for right now when I want to get things that are you know quick and simple and out you know out the door in the mail in the mailbox to my to my uh, family and friends I want you know small things that I can handle so I really really did love this and of course I got the little dies to go with it but these are small and I just love the way these are drawn so and I love these little sentiments too um, you can kind of see there the little sentiments I'm sorry the lighting is a little janky in this video but so I picked that one up I also have this die here the sending big hugs I love these big dies from my favorite things. I think I've got another one in here. Yes. Um, sending big hugs is this one. And then I've got the sending Christmas joy, which I wanted to use. I may still get to use this one. I'm trying to think of a couple of things that I work like that I can use pretty quickly. But I love these big, big bold um, sentiment dies like this. So got that one. I picked up the Mary uh, die, which I'll, is called Stacked Mary. I think this one is called, yeah, just Chris sending Christmas joy, like what it says. But this one is the Stacked Mary. Love that one. I also picked up this stamp set here. Now, um, this is a critter set. I know what I just said, and it still holds true. But these are not big. You know, these are really fairly some small images. But I just love these. Of course, I got it for the kitty cats. <laughs> Um, so there's um, four different kitty cats and and three different odd dog images and I know how I've got some family and friends that have dogs as well but I love these little um, sentiments too for prize here's a card to warm your heart holidays are better shared with friends and the, the good thing about this is that you can use this I don't have to necessarily use this for Christmas time some of these images I can still use during the winter too so, um, so I love that set. Of course, got the matching dies to go with it. Um, they also sent this. I believe this is when you create when you made an order in December. They sent this out, which I thought was super sweet. Um, it's this hand stamped stamp set. It's got sealed with uh, sealed with a hug, happy mail, do not bend, handmade by. And it's got um, I'm not sure what this one says. From me to you, I think that's what that says. And then the, my favorite things, if you wanted to use it. But I thought that was super sweet for them to uh, send that along in my, um, with my with my order. I thought that was super sweet. I picked this one up a couple of um, months ago. This is from Honey Bee, and I love um, sunflowers, so I had to have this one. I thought this one was beautiful. I actually have used this stamp set once already. Had to make a, um, a, I believe it was a sympathy card, and so I've already used this one. And uh, but I just love these sunflowers; they're beautiful. Of course, use the dies as well. So I got that. Also from Honey Bee, I've got these. Um, they're made to stack. Now you're, you know, they're they're separate uh, as far as purchasing them separate, but they are meant to go together, and it's a stacked. Um, slimline die and I believe it's yeah hexagon hexagon what hexi slim line cover plate and this is the base plate and this is the uh, top plate that's what they're calling it so you you die cut this and then you layer this one on top so I, I love that it is something simple uh, great to have a background with on this I really do love slimline cards I'm trying to build up my collection to um, create those Speaking of Slimline, I got this basic set from Pink Fresh Studio. This is um, the Slim Stitch Rectangles, and there are four dies. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, four dies in here, and I have used these already. But yeah, you get um, four different ones. Uh, two, uh, two regular uh, without the stitching, and two with stitching, which is nice. 
So I'm gonna have to get some storage though for any of my Slimline products. So, but I do, I did have this one, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and they've got a, they sent a um, like a magnet. I don't know what am I trying to say, magnet, like piece to to keep them together. But they, it's not super strong, so that's why I went ahead and put it in the envelope. But anyway, um, so I picked those up. Speaking of slimline, I've got some things from Trinity Stamps here. I love this stamp set. This was one that I was intending on using this year, but I didn't get a chance to. Um, this one is called Christmas Magic. Um, <clears throat> it says, I made the magic of Christmas fill your heart and your homes. Uh, joy to the world. <coughs> Excuse me. And so it's got this little trail of stars and everything. I thought this was beautiful, and I thought this would be beautiful on a simple uh, blended background and just stamp this like silhouette so maybe I'll get to use that um, next year this kind of go goes along with it too um, this one is called the slimline rooftops border die also from Trinity stamps I thought this was super cute you can stamp cut out some die cut like houses and then stamp this on top I thought that was a, such a cute idea so I picked that up also from Trinity Stamps, this is a layering stencil set. This is uh, called Slimline Series Tree of Lights. This is for Slimline cards because the trees are super tall. And it's like a bokeh effect. Um, and you layer, the, um, you layer the stencils on top of one another. Let's see if I can take this out and maybe kind of demonstrate a little bit. But yeah, you've got these um, trees here, and you uh, do it in different colors, and they layer on top of each other. And then, of course, you got the um, star here as well. But you can create some beautiful trees uh, for slimline cards with these stencils. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. So I picked those up again. <laughs> Things that I meant to use this year for Christmas cards, but I did not get a chance, but that's okay. They're not a one and done thing, so that's good. <laughs> um, also from Trinity Stamps, this is not necessarily for Christmas, but this is called um, the Autumn Rainbow. This is again for Slimline Cards, but I love these colors. I don't know if we can see it true to color here, but I think I have um, used one or two of these already. Um, and it was, again, it was for that sunflower car or that sunflower set that I used but I just love these colors and these could be used all year round not necessarily for autumn but um, these are great and they're great quality papers too so I have that uh, next up are a few things from Simon Says Stamp this is from one of their latest releases um, I picked up this um, paper hugs die again me with word word sentiments so paper hugs it's a pretty good pretty good size do i have a let's see there's just a card that i've made before you know we'll kind of turn it over <laughs> that kind of gives you an idea of how much it covers the card and it's a really good pretty good size for a card but yeah i've i think this is one of the, the last <laughs> tutorials i did on that card but yeah i picked that one up and i love i'm glad that i got that Next up is the Sneaky Kitties Border Die. Now you guys know, with me and kitties, I had to have this one. It's a cute little border die with uh, these, little, these little kitty cats. And of course you can color these or color them in black to have like a little silhouette or, you know, whatever. So, but I thought that was a super cute and, and a little bit of a different die. The die design that I don't have. Got that. Um, got this hugs die. This is from uh, designed by um, Kathy Zilski, and it's got the word die, of course, the shadow with it as well. I love her dies. It looks like that when it's layered. And I love the sentiment hugs because you can send that pretty much any time of the year. So I picked that one up, and then also from Kathy Zilski is this piece. Um, I love the chunkiness of this word die here. <laughs> and it's got the, of course, the word and the shadow. I may use this one for a couple of cards before <laughs> Christmas gets here, but um, I picked that one up. 
I love it layered white on white. Or you could do, obviously, layered on colors, too. But, yeah, so I picked that one up. And then the last Simon Says Stamp purchase I have is, um, this one was back from Stamp, Stamp Timber. Have not used this yet, but I thought this was super cute. And, um, and the only reason why I got this is because I've gotten sets like this before with the birds, but these birds are big. I mean, I know it doesn't look like it, but they are big. They are bigger birds. And, um, you know, and this would be really great for slimline cards too. Uh, so it'd be a really great size for uh, any slimline cards. And it's got a ton of sentiments down here. If you can see those, it's got a ton of sentiments. Sorry for the glare. Um, but yeah, and I just love this little fall -a -la, la for calling birds. Um, and of course you got the lights. Of course I did get the dice. This was a little bit of a pricier set, but this was the first, um, is this six by eight? I believe it is. A six by eight stamp set that Lawn Fawn has created. And um, so it was a little bit more pricier than the normal uh, size, but I thought it was super cute. And I, I went ahead and jumped on it before it was gone because um, this, I'm sure, sold out really quickly. Lawn Fawn sets usually do during Stamp Timber. So I got it. I thought it was super cute, like I said, and this will be a really great size for, you know, your regular cards. Or like I said, I mainly got it for Slimline because the birds were in bigger size. So that was it from Simon Says Stamp. The other thing, let me backtrack on the uh, My Favorite Things. I did pick up some envelopes from My Favorite Things, some Slimline, and it's a rainbow pack of um, Slimline envelopes. These beautiful colors. You've got a lot, you get a lot in here. So, um, but yeah, so you get a bunch of different colors in here. I think it's two each. Yeah, two each of each color. So I'm, I'm pretty set on Slimline envelopes for a little while and the colors so I picked those up happy to have those and then a last couple of more things here and then I'll be done you guys um I purchased you know before we I get to the last of the stamps and dies and such I did pick up this it's already kind of assembled so let me kind of bring it in frame here but I picked up this card maker. Um, this is separate. You can take this out. But it's, um, I mean, if I can remember to insert a photo here, I will. But it's, um, it has three different strings on it. And you, um, and you attach your, with little clothespins, you attach your cards to it. And it displays all the cards that you, you get. I got that from um, Organize More. And it wasn't, terribly expensive at all and I thought it would be a great addition to my craft room and something different to add to um, you know put on my display my cards so um, but anyway so I picked that up as well I wanted to be sure that I showed that to you and then the last few things I have here are from Waffle Flower versus this one here um, clean and simple is my game now guys I you know you know, like an inked background or pattern, pattern paper, a sentiment, you know, or a nice focal point, and I'm done. I mean, I don't really like to take a whole lot of time as far as, you know, doing building scenes. That's just not my thing anymore. I love them. I think they're absolutely adorable. Scene cards, you know, all my friends that do them, absolutely adorable. I just don't have the time to create them. So, this is this is my jam now, <laughs> clean and simple. Um... So, but yeah, I just love the, 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 these look of these silhouettes, you know, and, and I love the look of these sentiments here. And um, so this one is called Spotlight Holiday Elements. Love that. Um, this one is called, this is a great sentiment stamp set. This kind of goes with uh, a die that I already own. It's called the Big, Dot, the Big Dots um, die, um, and it's the, all the circles. Um, but this, you can put, use that die with these sentiments as well because it gives you a, a place to stamp your sentiment. But I got this, uh, Merry Christmas, Season's Greetings, Happy Holidays, Celebrate the Season, Merry and Bright, Happy Thanksgiving, Peace on Earth, With Much Love, Send Love from All of Us, From Our House to Yours, and Happy New Year, From Me to You, and Joy to the World. So, really great. I love J.J. Bolton's designs. She makes really great uh, products, design really great products, more up my alley. So, I picked that one up. 
I've got this Christmas tree panel die which is awesome. It's got all these little Christmas trees on it. And um, I've got some pattern papers that kind of got along, got along with it. Here you can kind of see it here. Um, but this will make really fast, you know, quick and simple Christmas cards. I might get to use this here in the next day or two, if not today. So yeah, Christmas panel die. Love that. You know, cut all these little Christmas trees. Um, to go along with the it's intended for it, but you don't necessarily have to do it. Um, the Spotlight Circle Stencil. Um, I thought these were... Uh, I love, love all these stencils that have the um, lines to, to know where to put your card. Or you can create different, you know, actual designs, you know, by using these stencils. Different sizes, and it kind of gives you the masks as well. Um, but this is what is intended for this. You, you know, do an inked panel or a spotlight, and then stamp your sentiment in the middle. That's what... You know, I was kind of going for with that. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I, I, I needed these stencils anyway. So I love that. And then I believe this is last but certainly not least. Yes, I'm kind of looking around. <laughs> um, last but certainly not least, I got some um, pattern papers. Um, this is the half lines, half... Um, Oh, it's half and half. Lines and then Christmas. Um, but you got solids and then you've got lines love that these colors together and um, I love these pattern papers the, the first one that they brought out was a rainbow and I have used that a ton a ton a ton and then this one has the Christmas stripes this is meant to go um, with that Christmas tree panel die or you could use it for the other like like I said the uh, big dots um, one or they've got a couple other ones that that you can use these big stripes and they are meant to go together um, and die cut with each other so makes really fast cards and that's what I'm all about these days so I had to have those two and I love the just the two combinations of different color palettes that they provided so I picked those two up as well <laughs> so that was from September until recently about a week ago those are the purchases that I have made um, within the last bit of time let me see if I can zoom out just a little bit here, guys, so you can see more of in frame. I probably should have done that anyway. But um, here's all the the goodies. I'll take aside from the the storage and the brushes. Um, but that kind of gives you an idea of what my money went for a little bit. <laughs> kind of get myself through school and kind of incentive and a birthday and all that other stuff. So. Again, thank you guys so much for stopping by to um, see my video today. I appreciate it. I miss you guys so much. But um, trying to make a better life for myself, you know, and my, my husband and I and, and my kitties too. <laughs> so um, I hope you all are doing well. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you guys. And I hope you all have um, a really great new year. And let's make, let's make 2021 uh, better than 2020. How about it? So I love you guys. Stay safe. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.